Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I'm back here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida, about to do the review of another Ruger. And this time it is a Ruger Security 9. Now, uh, this particular one has a 10 capacity magazine and 4 inch barrel, uh, but there are a lot of different models. There's a compact version, there's the one with 15 capacity, there's a little bit of a shorter barrel, a little bit of a longer, there's, there's plenty of, I don't know why, why they decided to do so many different options for this particular gun, but all of them are pretty much similar to this one, so I decided to get this particular one kind of in between all of the other <laughs> models. So, let's put some five rounds through it and uh, see what this can do. Now, like I said, this particular one is a 10 capacity magazine. Um, as, as you can see, it has a plastic gray follower. Uh, fairly easy to load but not as easy as some other Ruger models, like for example, Ruger American is a little bit easier to load that magazine compared to this one. As you can see, it is numbered over here uh, between four, six, eight, and 10. And on this side is five, seven, and nine. Well, I guess somebody thought it was a good idea. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if I can hit that uh, little orange that one right there, An orange little circle on the top. All right, fairly easy to rack. Open up. All right, not too shabby. <laughs> All right, and uh, like back on the slide. So. Let's start from the very beginning. As you can see, this is not a one-hand operation slide release, so you actually have to pull the slide backwards, or maybe even re remove the magazine. Yeah, so a little bit of a pain, this gun, okay? Uh, you can't just release the slide with the magazine, you have to remove it. Uh, not a fan of that operation, but okay, it is what it is. So, let's start with the grip. As you can see, there's a pretty good, actually pretty good stippling over here. Pretty good amount of aggression. Um, got it on the back, got it on the front. It fits pretty good, decent ergonomics. Not as good as Ruger American in my opinion, but still pretty decent, not a big deal. Now we got our mag release, very small. Um, works very well, it's not ambidextrous. Keep that in mind. Same thing with the slide. Slide release is not ambidextrous. Safety that we have here, we have our manual safety, which does not want to engage unless you have it racked. If you have it racked, it does engage and it locks the trigger on place, as you can see. Uh, and to engage it, it's up. To disengage it, it's down. All right, so nothing is ambidextrous. So if you're left-handed, probably not a gun for you. Now, the slide itself is uh, fairly easy, fairly smooth to rack. You have your rear serrations here, you have your front serrations, so however you want to rack it, you can freaking rack it, doesn't freaking matter. <laughs> we have our uh, accessory rail if you want to put some uh, uh, flashlight or a laser if you're that type of person. And uh, we have our aggression on the front of the trigger guard if you're this type of person. Because why not? So, let's put some five more rounds through this gun. And uh, it's pretty accurate, I have to say, this gun. I did not expect it to be this accurate. Now, four inch barrel for a nine millimeter, I would say this is, uh, pretty good. Uh, this probably, I would say Ruger were trying to kind of uh, hit on a Glock 19. This is what this is kind of feeling that I get. <laughs> That's what they try to do. Uh, did they do a good job? Yeah, it's, it's, it's better than their previous models. Is it fantastic? Yeah, I don't know, but uh, still pretty good. So, uh, yeah, well, I ruined the top target. Let's ruin the bottom target, why not? Not too 
bad. Honestly, it's definitely more accurate than I uh, expected it to be. So, let's talk about the trigger. If I can, yeah, oh, there you go. You can do it. If you, if you try hard enough, you can, all right, see? So, let's see, trigger, we have our safe action. Not safe action, this is a safe action is a Glock, but this is similar to Glock safe action, all right? <laughs> this thing, and then we have about two and a half millimeters, three millimeters of safe familiar travel, and then about one millimeter of unknowingness, and then crisp snap. So trigger on this is actually better than on the Ruger American, because uh, they had a, a little bit too much mushiness to it. This one is not, this one is more crispy. Good balance between the kind of a combat tactical trigger and the trigger that you can shoot for accuracy. So not bad at all. Let's move on to the sides. That's another thing that kind of reminded me of Glock, that's why I brought it up. Look at that, wow, have you seen a size like this somewhere else? Yes, yes, I've seen size like this. In fact, pretty much just like this on a Glock. That's right. And uh, is this a night sight? Let me, let me turn on the light and see if this is night sight. No, this is not night sight. So here's your answer. This is not night sight. So let's put some five rounds, last five rounds maybe, and then we'll try to come up with a conclusion. See if, uh, if uh, overall I like this gun, honestly, Compared to what Ruger had, the handguns that the Ruger had before, uh, before this gun, this is a huge, huge improvement on uh, Ruger side. So well done, guys at Ruger. Um, would I fix a few things about this gun? Yes, yes. I would fix that slide release. I'm not a fan of that slide release. Not good slide release at all, in my opinion. Safety, eh, a little bit rough operation of the safety. Uh, it's it's I don't mind the safety being hard to engage it's easy to disengage that's an important part that's good so as long as the safety is easy to disengage that's the important part and this is the case here so I'm not gonna complain too much about the safety plus as you can see here it does have a very nice um, extension on the safety so you can use it as as your um, part of your grip for a good recoil management. So this is, this is, this is good. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Maybe I should try to hit them flippy battles with this gun. Let's see if it's, let's see if it's doable. It's doable. So, overall pretty good. Uh, good trigger, uh, decent grip, decent decent uh, ergonomics overall. My biggest complaint is with the slide release. I just wish it was, I just wish it was better. Uh, and another thing that I'm not a fan of the slide release is this, as you can see, there's this uh, on the frame, there's this groove going around the slide release and it's a little, just does not, uh, this does not feel good. But the slide itself, it's very easy to rack. The spring is good, it handles the recoil very well. Uh, if there is a round in the magazine, or there is no magazine, as you can see, the slide is very smooth, which is, I would say, a huge upgrade to all the other previous models that uh, Ruger had before this one. Uh, the sides are very good as well, just your normal three, basically, Glock sides, I guess. They did it, I don't know why they did it, but, but they did it. Everybody knows the Glock size when they see one, so I don't know how Ruger thought that this part right here was a good idea. <laughs> Not to look like a copycat, but hey, whatever. Listen, it works, okay? You can be accurate with this, it's a good size. Um, it's a good gun overall for the price. Um, it's similar to Glock 19's price, but which one I would personally go with, you already know which one I would go with, uh, but this is a pretty good option too. So, thank you very much guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about uh, this Ruger Security 9? What do you think about this review? If you have any requests for reviews, drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. Thank you guys for watching, this was Firearms from America. I'll see you guys in the next video.